In this video, we're going to evaluate this definite integral. So there is a trick to this problem. Um, you can do this immediately, and the answer is zero. So the answer is zero, and you can do it just by looking at it, if you know some stuff. So let me show you. This is really, really useful in um, higher level math and in math in general. If you, if you have a function, so if f is odd on, say, some interval negative a to a, so we'll talk about what odd means in, in a second. And you integrate f from negative a to a with respect to x, you get 0. So odd basically means um, when you plug in negative x into the function, the negative comes out and you get negative f of x. So in this example here, this is your f of x. So if you were to write it down, f of x equals x parentheses 6x squared plus 3 cubed, you could actually check the definition. You could, you could replace the x with the negative x. So your x would become negative x. And then here you would get 6 negative x squared plus 3 quantity cubed. And this is where the magic happens. This is still negative x. This negative, it's being squared, right? This negative x. So it's going to become x squared plus 3 cubed. So it goes away because of the 2. And then this is negative. And what's all of this? This is what we started with. So we proved it. We proved that this function is odd. We're going from negative 2 to 2. Therefore, the answer is 0. So it's an extremely, extremely powerful technique. Just because it's worth learning some extra stuff. Um, what does it mean for a function to be odd graphically? It basically means it's symmetric about the origin. So as a quick example, something like this would be odd. Something like this. Let's just say it stops here and stops here. This is called symmetry about the origin. This is an example of an odd function. So if you flip it twice, you get the same thing. That's how I think about it. So if you flip it, if you flip it down, you get that. If you flip it down, you get that. Flip it that way, you get that. So flip twice, same thing. So why should this make sense? Well, let's say you were integrating this, right? And you were going from here to here. If it's symmetric, this area here is the same as this area here, except this has a negative in front of it. So they cancel each other out when you integrate and you get zero. That's the idea. Because if this is positive two, this is negative two, and so it cancels when you integrate and that's why you get zero. So anyways, uh, got sidetracked there a little bit, but really, really important uh, fact. So if f is odd, you get that. I uh, hope this video has been helpful. Take care.